all right guys welcome back to my channel um so today we're gonna do what i call like a dusting trim type of thing with my hair so i guess the professionals call it dusting i'm not a hair professional um but that's what people seem to call it which is basically where you're just going and trying to get little bits of dead ends and split ends off your hair without cutting off any length so with that being said, as many of you can see, my hair is pretty dry and damaged. Um, I contribute a lot of it to my thyroid problem. I do use heat styling. I try to be sparing. I do my best. I take really good care of my hair actually, um, but unfortunately I've had some struggles lately and my hair tends to go through phases where I do have struggles with it um, because it does get very dry. So with that being said, we're gonna do this little dusting thing. Now I've done this many times before, so I don't have to do it with a video anymore. I used to do it with a video in front of me. So all you need is scissors, whatever you want to use. These are actually like pretty old. These aren't that great, but you know, just make sure you have a decent pair of scissors. Like, I mean, I wouldn't try to use like, I mean, you could if you have nothing else, obviously, but I would definitely try to, these are also really dull. Um, I would try to go with something you know if you have hair shears hair cutting scissors great use those if not kitchen scissors you know totally fine um but be warned you are at your own demise this is your own risk here um anyways so what i like to do is i like to just you know just part your hair wherever it naturally parts okay so and then you just brush it a little bit so my hair is not too tangled right now I do like the color I like a lot of the aspects of my hair I just am struggling with the dryness and the seasons are starting to change which is also a big contributing factor okay so now that I have my hair kind of brushed out it's ready to go um, you want to do this with your hair dry because if it's wet, it's just going to be way too hard to see your split ends. So, I cannot see super well. Like, I have to look in the mirror. I'm the type of person I just have to look in the mirror. So, what you want to do is basically, there are many different ways. I wouldn't say there's really a right or wrong way to do it. But, you can go in with your scissors like this, kind of like on the side. And you kind of just like take off little pieces like you can see those little pieces right here like when I pull down you can see them sticking out on the side those are what we really want to get rid of now some people can do this like really fast they have special tools but if you're like me you just go in and just get what you can it also doesn't have to be perfect and you can do however much or as little as you want and I'm going to demonstrate. I'm not going to show you guys the whole thing just because I need to be able to really focus and do it up here in the mirror where I can see like super well. And the way I have my camera, like I can't really, I don't have the proper stand to show you guys all of that, but that's okay. So like on this side, for example, you can look down here. Now you can also do a little bit of like, you know, dusting down here. This can also take off a little bit of length if you do very much of it at all. Um, but you can take your fingers like so, kind of wrap it around. And then you can see here how you're getting all of that right there. So, and I recommend just start really small. Just really start small. Just don't go, you know, trying to like torture your hair. And I do cut my own hair. I've cut my own hair for... Completely, I have not had a professional haircut for probably at least five or six years. Um, <clears throat> and the reason for that is just simply because I don't trust anyone with my hair. Every time I go, they cut off way too much, despite what I tell them. I end up leaving very unhappy, very depressed, very upset. So yeah, nobody touches my hair anymore. It's just me. I color my own hair too. Um, but yeah, so you can take it here. And if you want, you can do... You know just cut off a little tiny the key is to cut off very tiny parts okay and try to keep it even whenever you're done doing what you're doing 
you just want to go in and make sure everything's even so if you ended up getting any length off at all you know which we're trying to avoid but you want to make sure it's even so so anyway so i'm going to go in i'm going to finish this dusting procedure which you know takes probably maybe 10 minutes at the most honestly for my hair anyway and my hair is just kind of medium length so but yeah so then i will um obviously you guys will see if it does any good it's usually not too noticeable whenever i do this so you guys might not notice a whole lot the only difference i would anticipate is it will probably look a little bit healthier so i'll see you guys on the other side and um yeah it's gonna look a little bit better bye see you later guys <laughs>